I'm sure many of us are looking forward to things to come, and tarot readings are a great way to give you a little insight to what's in store for your future. You may remember Sadie Ham, who is the creator of Pittsburgh Astrology, but did you know that she's also a tarot practitioner, and she's here to share some of her skills with us today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to talk about tarot with you all. Oh, yeah. this is going to be a blast. Now, before the show, you got to read me. I did. And uh, I was really amped up to get a personal reading. Been a big fan for a while now. And you also gave me a really cool positive outlook on mm -hmm. stuff that was happening or has happened in my life. Explain tarot a little to someone who doesn't really know. Sure. Okay. So tarot has a very, very long history. Um, it's a form of cardomancy, which is divination that you perform with cards. And divination can mean two things, right? It can mean uh, we're telling the future or it can mean we're uncovering the unknown. And the way that I use tarot, I don't necessarily go predictive with it. I'm not trying to tell your future as much as I'm trying to add insight, ask questions, and just provide a little glimpse into maybe the collective unconscious that the signs and symbols of the tarot might unearth for my querent, which is just the fancy name for the person who I am reading for. Very cool. Oh, I had a great time, and I think you're up, my friend. Okay. Well, first of all, I want to compliment your costume. Your oh my outfit gosh, thank looks you. Thank you. Um, there is a special uh, significance to it, and that one, I just had this lying around. Uh, and two, <laughs> um, I found out recently in doing some research uh, that tarot, uh, using the actual tarot deck, which used to be just a playing card deck, like mm -hmm. a game of cards, um, only started as cardomancy in like the late 1700s in France, and I was like. Oh, There's the costume. Gosh, go with the There's the it costume. wrote itself. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think well, oftentimes in pop culture, you know, Tara's portrayed as like creepy. Like you go in somewhere mm -hmm. and then someone pulls a card and you're like, sorry, your dog's going to die. You know, and so, yes. I, but it's not like that, right? I, I mean, <laughs> certainly people can give readings like that. For me, I'm way more interested in interfacing with my client yeah. and talking and just holding space for someone. Because right. I feel like a lot of times we just want someone to really see us. And in that moment, I can give a little bit of insight, a little bit of comfort. Uh, there are some cards that are mm, pretty bad news, okay. uh, but I always try to put, if not a positive spin on them, then at least something that uh, you can look forward to or have well, hope in. Let's, let's see what he gets. Let's uh, yeah. I'm so excited. Okay. okay. So uh, you're gonna, just doing one card. You're doing a mini, a mini yeah, tarot reading. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, gosh, I can talk all day, every day. Uh, so I think that a one card is probably more important for our purposes here. Okay. And so I was thinking this would be like your card of the day to provide okay. a little insight about Perfect. what you've got going on. All right. So I'm just going to do a little swoopy swoop here and I want you to pick one card from this deck doesn't matter which okay. one and then there you it put is. it right you, there you look like you knew I don't know the the spirit sort the of spirit, pulled me yeah, yeah the spirit Oh, interesting. Uh -oh, oh, it's okay. bad. It looks like Boaz. <laughs> <laughs> if he was wearing a referee shirt, yeah, I would absolutely agree. I'm gardening. Agree. This is perfect. <laughs> so this is such an interesting card. Uh, so this is the Seven of Wands. Wands in tarot represent uh, the creative spirit, okay. our drive for joy, uh, the generative nature of life. Uh, gardening is, I think, a great analogy because it's making that. Uh, Dylan Thomas, the poet, called it the force that through the green fuse drives the flower. Isn't Ooh, that so beautiful? beautiful. Yeah. I, love I it. mean, you can't, Dylan always knows how to turn a phrase. Uh, so in this particular instance, this card has a meaning, sort of a traditional interpretation of defensiveness. I mean, you can see right on here, this is why this card deck, which is the Rider Waite Coleman Smith deck, uh, is really popular. Is because what you see is kind of what you okay. get. You see a person who is in a position of defense, right? He's got the high ground, he's got his wand, and he's saying, nobody can take my high Ground. Right. Boaz is a new dad. Oh. He's, he's a new protector. Oh, Gosh, do you, this is all does that sense. resonate for you? It Where does. Like, yes. this is, you know, it's like this is my stuff. Oh my you know? gosh. Well, and this is definitely resonating. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my God, my pleasure. And if, if you're interested in learning more about Pittsburgh astrology and the services that Sadie offers, you can head to our website. Oh, chills in the pleather. Yeah.